Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. Today's Pick a Card Tarot reading, we are going over what do they want you to know? What do they want to tell you? Uh, this can be really any situation. Some of you, this may be um, a no contact. Others of you guys, it's just uh, something your person just hasn't got a chance to express to you or something they want you to know. So I have three piles for you guys today. Pile one. We have this beautiful phoenix card and uh, this peacock ore or your crystal or mineral the card marker if you will so phoenix pile one pile two we have uh, this card that says love a call and we have a spirit quartz And a pile three, we have this card that says seduction. Mm -hmm. And I have a green fluorite crystal here for you. Again, seduction, green fluorite. So take a deep breath and go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're drawn to uh, more than one or want to watch different piles for different people, totally fine. Um, a lot of people do that. Um, but the timestamps will be in the description box below or the indicators under this video. Um, you can just click right on your pile and it'll take you right to your spot in the reading. Um, I'm going to leave these up for a few moments. If you need more time, feel free to pause the screen and then I will see you at your pile. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends, pile one. You guys picked this beautiful Phoenix card. Um, Phoenix always gives me like Scorpio energy. It's that death and rebirth cycle. Um, and you guys picked the peacock or, and we are looking or looking into what does your person want to say? What do they want you to know? Um, with this card, it says new phase and rekindle, renew and growth, change mind, rise from the ashes. So there could be some sort of wanting a new phase, moving um, this connection to the next phase. Uh, if you're in some sort of disconnect, this person wants to kind of restart or come back into your life. Uh, there could have been a recent like mind shift. This person could have learned some new information. Um, they could have figured something out. There's gears uh, in this picture. Um, so there, there could be some sort of um, changed mind situation that they want you to know about. Um, but basically it's a feeling of rebirth, renew, um, reuse, recycle, no. Um, but, uh, uh, there, there's this coming back around energy uh, with your person. So let's look into the tarot. So what does pile one's person want to say? What do they want to say? We have a four of cups. Um, this person could be feeling a little um, apathetic or just kind of concerned about some sort of missed opportunity or rejection. Um, we'll get into these more, but I want to kind of pull them all out. What does Pile One's person want to say? Six of Cups. What do they want to say? Page of Cups. So we have a lot of cup energy. Cups are our emotions. This person definitely wants to tell you about their feelings. So yeah, we have a page of cups. We have the high priestess. This is our intuition. This is our knowing. Make sure these are all okay. Um, in shots. Still playing around with angles <laughs> uh, with my camera. I'm always messing around with that every few months. Okay. Um, let's clarify this for cups. Too many four of cups. What do they want to say? Six of pentacles. Four of swords. Nine of cups. 
<laughs> Knight of Cups. And here we go. Fiery new passionate beginning with this Ace of Wands. Not sure of everyone's situation. Again, this, these are general readings, so take what resonates or leave what doesn't, or you might have to um, translate the information into your scenario. Um, but the themes will be on point uh, if this is indeed your reading. So with this overall energy of this Ace of Wands here, this is a wanting or a desiring of a passionate new beginning. Uh, this can be about um, being intimate as well. Uh, so this person could want to tell you something. Um, we do have this flower growing out of a book. So this person could have learned some sort of new information. Again, this we have... I was very drawn into the fact that this card said changed mind. So there could be some sort of information this person recently received. They could have recently discovered something that kind of has made, um, made some feelings really grow, especially with all this cup energy, um, having some realizations. Um, typically the um, Ace of Swords is that aha moment, but this could be, again, this person, something's growing from some knowledge that this person has gained recently. Um, if you guys are in some sort of disconnect with this Four of Cups, um, this person could be having realizations around a missed opportunity or maybe making the wrong choice, uh, investing their time in something um, they they whatever they've been putting their time in um they aren't feeling good about it uh the the four cups is an energy of um again of apathetic of just meh <laughs> there was a meh card it's kind of that four of cups um and uh and it's clarified by a card of investment, of investing time, also impatience and waiting. So this person, if, if there's been some sort of wait or pause in your connection, this person isn't feeling good about it. They, they don't want to wait. Um, it's, it's, it's like the longer the wait, the more they, uh, this feeling could be arising. Um, I mean, this pause could have helped them realize stuff, again, depending on your situation. Um, for some of you, maybe a long pause. It could just be like some sort of disconnect, um, some sort of just mitz, mitch, ma blah, mix match with energy. We have a Six of Cups clarified by our Four of Swords. So the Six of Cups for me um, is one of my soul level connection cards. This is someone who feels very deep connections with you. Um, this is also a card of uh, past lives, also of childhood. So um, for some of you, this could be a connection um, where you have known each other for a long time or from your past. Um, but this ultimately is this feeling of home, this feeling of connection, uh, deep rootedness, deep rooted feelings. Um, it's clarified by a four of swords, which is a card of contemplation. It's a card of meditation. So this person is constantly thinking about this or it's entering their mind when they least expect it. And it's almost like whatever has caused this discontent with this person in this connection, uh, they want you to know that it, it's almost like I'm, I'm missing you. It's like in my silent moments, this, this comes up. Um, Trying to look at this from a one more angle of if you guys are in just you know there is no disconnect here um there just could have been something like again there might have been a conversation that was misaligned or maybe this person is feeling like they're feeling more than you're feeling um maybe you're in a newer relationship and you haven't let on about feelings um you know to each other and this person could be like worried that maybe I'm investing time in this person and do they really like me back? Because with all these cups, I mean, we have six of cups, page of cups, nine of cups, the knight of cups. This person has a lot of feelings for you. There, There's a lot. Uh, there's an intuition here as well, this connection. Um, so the page of cups clarified by the nine of cups. So, so page of cups is our, our pages are our messengers, and again our cups are emotions. So this person wants to express themselves, though the pages have a tendency to be a little more immature. So this person could be trying to figure out how to communicate this to you, but it's clarified by our nine of cups. That's a wish fulfilled. That's you check off all the boxes. Um, that's you know um, I I really I really like you. Um, 
there just may be a nervousness about, you know, wondering, do you, do you like me back? Do you have this passion back? Um, for some of you, and this person thinks about this a lot in their quiet time. So what do they want to say? I feel like this person wants to get on the same page as you. If they're having these insecurities, they may want you to know that they are insecure about investing in this because they're not sure how you feel. Um, but they definitely want to be on the same page and grow from the same page with you. A high priestess. Sometimes a high priestess is here when we're not really supposed to know what's behind the curtain. Um, but we do have this ship coming out on the water in this picture. Um, and so it's like this person is writing their emotions, but they also may be trying to conceal it a little bit. But really, they want to sing you a song from their heart. Uh, we have this person playing, literally playing um, a heart in this picture, um, sitting on a lotus, which has come through the mud. So you both may have been through some hard times. You may have similar backgrounds. Um, this also, if this, if this discontent doesn't relate to you, this person could have had discontent in relationships in the past, um, maybe invested in the wrong things, but here you guys are coming together and it's kind of like this new phase. It's like, wow, you brought me back to life. You reignited this passion I had that maybe I thought wasn't possible for me because in the past, things just, everything I've invested my time in just went to, you know, didn't pan out. But here, this person, also some of you guys could have some children. Uh, if you guys uh, each have children, maybe the children are friends. There could be just a child connection here as well. Um, but uh, it's this feeling of like, in the past, you know, love didn't work out for me. Um, the things I invested in didn't work out. Um, but here, I feel like this could go somewhere. I feel like after I've been burned to the ashes, I could rise again. Again, this passion is rising again. Um, we have the emperor here, so Aries energy. Uh, it's like I feel like I could build an empire. Um, Eight of Wands, this person likes to talk to you a lot. They they want to communicate with you. Um, they like where your mind takes them. Um, lots of feelings of also getting carried away um, at times in their thoughts. But this feels this feels kind of fun. Um, underneath the surface, so there is a tower here. So this person could be, you know, hiding some fears, or they want to express their fears. Um, there could be fears about, you know, losing um, stability. Uh, this could all pertain back to this person in the past, maybe not, you know, maybe not trusting themselves or trusting their intuition. But their intuition is telling them you know, to go after this, to, to follow these feelings with this Knight of Cups. But this person could just have some reservations and they may want to communicate to you that there is still fear around um, losing things, losing their foundations. We do have a Four of Wands right under here, which is about foundations. So those are some of the things that this person could be wanting to tell you. Um, but there's definitely a lot of emotions in this person you know, again, sees you in a really beautiful light. They may be, again, trying to hide some of this a little bit, but it's like, it's like almost like it's bursting at the seams with, um, again, I hope you guys can see this. It's a, she's got a book here and this flower's just like growing right out of it. So this person feels like they're, they're bursting out of the seams with passion for you. Uh, if you guys haven't been intimate, it may be something this person also thinks about a lot. Um, they want to know what that's like, but, um, there is a fear around repeated cycles in this person's life, and they may want to just, you know, let you in on that, just so you know if they do have hesitations at times. It's they just they just don't want to invest in the wrong thing ever again. Okay, let's see. What does this person want to say? What do they want? person want to say? What do one's person want to say? Dreaming of you. So this person wants you to know that you're, you're someone of their dreams. Also, you could be showing up in their dreams for some of them, like quite literally. But this person, you know, fantasizes a lot. They're dreaming of you. You're, you could be their dream person. Love lyrics. This person wants to, you know, um, either sing you a song, 
send you some songs. They may listen to songs that, you know, uh, make them think of you. Uh, this person is, is pretty much smitten by you in general. Um, there could be a musical connection for some of you as well with that love lyrics. Promise. Wow, this person's feeling very committed. Um, this may be what they're kind of hiding. Maybe they want to like jump all in because again, this person is, it's bloomed. It's, it's just like they opened the book on you. Again, there could be a writing connection here for some of you as well. But it's like once you guys like they open the book on you, it just like boom, grew. Um, so this person could, you know, be really interested in having a very committed relationship. If you're already in a committed relationship with this person, you know, maybe they, they want to take this to the next level. They want to promise you, but this person definitely feels like they want to be, take this very seriously. And this also is a feeling of trust. Um, you, again, you're the, if you're the person of their dreams, you know, they, they could believe in, you know, maybe this working out long term. Um, wanting this to uh to really um take off and be yeah like very committed energy here party of one so this is kind of you know this person is holding back um about their like the reasons that they hold back they might be a little nervous about how you feel we already kind of touched on that so a person also could be sick of being single. Um, they're ready to kind of take this to the next level. Um, maybe if, if, you know, if you guys are both single, they could want to take you off the market. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're having this promise. Also, this party of one, it's like they could only have eyes just for you. Um, maybe you've been stuck in the past with people who kind of, you know, had a wandering eye, but this person, it's like, they only see you. Like it's, it's just about you. But I think this person is really afraid that, you know, there, there's parts of them that are afraid that you won't really want what they have to offer. So that's something that this person wants you to know. Like they, they have insecurities around you really choosing them. So, yeah. Um, we have integrity on the bottom. This person could also want you to know that they appreciate your integrity. They appreciate what you stand up for. They appreciate your mind and how you view things as well. I need a sip of my drink. My apologies. Okay. Let's see. Pile one's person. What do they want to tell them? What do they want them to know? It's not me. Hmm. There's something that they feel like they're they're not being fully them. I'm not sure how that, that relates to everyone, to be honest. I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna see what the next one is. I might have to do a, a clarifier for that because that's not exactly sure. It's not me. Okay, well they want you to know something is not them. Um Maybe if you guys had some sort of fight or they acted out of character, they want you to know it's really, it's really not who they are. Submission. This person really wants to give in to this connection. They want to submit to you. They want to honor you. Um, message of freedom. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, we also have calm. This person wants you to know that they, you make their, them calm. But so what this is kind of coming up is if there's any fears in you around this person smothering you or wanting you to submit or, you know, you feeling like you're, maybe you're the type of person who needs a sense of freedom. We have this phoenix, I think of birds and flying. Um, this person may want you to know that you know, it's okay if you still want to keep a bit of your independence here. This person definitely, again, if, if they feel this serious about you, they may also be worried about scaring you off a little bit. So it's, there's a message here around like knowing like I'm committed to this. I want this serious relationship, but I, I'm not going to steal your freedom from you. 
I'm not going to, I'm going to allow you to be you. I'm not going to smother you. Um, maybe those are some insecurities of yours where you feel like, you know, at times that you want to be your own person and you want to do your own thing. Um, this person wants you to know that they're okay with that. They're, they're ready to give you what you need. They're committed to you, but they're also ready to, you know, if you need a little bit of breathing room at times that they're open to that as well. Um, you may have recently kind of like expressed like what you need, how you felt, uh, what you need in a relationship. And this person like, you know, is, is, is willing to give you that, but this doesn't mean like, i oh, go do your own thing. This just feels like, like I'm not going to smother you. I'm going to respect your like autonomy or, or that kind of thing. All right. What's the other, let me clarify these a little bit because I have a feeling there's there's a mixed message here right now I feel like this I'm not going to smother you is is for a lot of you or maybe that's a one-off um but there does feel like there's some more messages here so let me kind of dive into this which would be a little bit different scenario um I'm gonna get a clarifier on this Oop, it's not me so ten of pentacles so there could be some sort of change. Um, what am I trying to say? At first I thought this is the wheel that fell out. Ten of Pentacles is not me. One more. It's not me. Okay. So we have a Lovers and we have a Six of Wands. Not me. If this person appears, you know, on the surface to be very materialistic or um, really like more focused on money and earning things of that nature, they could want you to know that that's not all of them. Like this person does have a very um, deep heart. Uh, they do believe in soulmates. They do want a loving relationship. Um, they want a successful connection. Um, hmm. I have a feeling that's going to make a lot of sense to somebody. I'm having a hard time articulating it. Uh, but I always have to remember these messages aren't always for me to understand. So you guys will be like, nope, I know exactly what you're talking about. So I'm just going to leave that there. But this feels like I'm not just materialistic. I do have a heart. I do, I do want things to be successful. Um, we have Gemini energy uh, there as well. Okay, so let me see this message of freedom. Can we get some more insights to this message of freedom, please? Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's this need to calm anxieties. Others of you... Um, if your person has a tendency to need independence, has a tendency to, you know, this person may want to be committed, but they're still holding on to a little bit of independence. There could be a worry around that, um, a worry about, there also could be a worry just about you setting them free. If you are in that scenario where you guys aren't together and you guys have had a breakup, there could be an, some anxiety about, about not being together, that party of one, that anxiousness, um, sleepless nights about, you know, freedom. Take that for how it fits for your situation. Okay. Um, where do I want to go next? Pull a couple more cards. Let me get some more insight. Mystery. So, you know, I was kind of talking about with this behind this card there, there's, there's some stuff behind the curtain. So this person could want to keep some mystery going on. They could find you a little mysterious. Um, the number 13, I don't know where it popped up before in a card. It's somewhere in here. I don't know. Um, I feel like that got pointed out to me earlier and I shouldn't say 13 so 13 might be important to somebody I need to to give a nod to that but I don't even know where 13 is I don't know anywho um this person yeah this, this whole connection also could be a bit of a mystery to them if they have a tendency to have been someone who valued 
their independence. Um, could be kind of shocking to them that they want to commit to this so bad. Uh, interesting, interesting, for sure. Um, but that's this really, again, I'm going back to this original um, scenario that I said that this person really doesn't want you to be worried about not being able to be you. Okay. Sticking to that. My guides keep bringing me back to it. Oh, see, we have freedom again. Like this person isn't going to cage you. I feel like, the, again, this is a very significant message for somebody. If it's not for you, just let part of this reading go. You guys know these are general readings, but someone really needs to understand they do not need to be worried about being caged in in a relationship if that's something that happened to you in the past. For others, this could this person may need you to know or they may be anxious about being caged in and not feeling free. And this doesn't, again, this doesn't feel like I need to date all these other people. It's just this person needs a level of freedom. At least they need you to understand their level of freedom. But this person does feel very committed to you. Um, we have gifts, so they could want to give you some gifts. They could want to shower you with, with presents. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a fear around this person, again, smothering of you. Um, we have spark on the bottom of the deck. So this person has a lot of, again, feelings. That Ace of Wands is a massive attraction kind of card. So this person definitely feels the passion. They feel compatible with you in a passionate way. I'm going to pull some song cards. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it in this reading. Um, a lot of you guys love these. So there'll be a message within the lyrics. If you know the song's awesome, if you don't, you know, and you feel drawn to one of the songs, just look up the lyrics. There's going to be something for you to understand. So let's see. Song cards, pile one. The Walk by Imogen Heap. And It's Your Love by Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Most of these are... Um, suggested by viewers so if you have a, a song suggestion let me know I did get another a stack of these so I can fill in some more so if you've never seen your card come up and maybe you've told me in the past and I did you haven't seen it come up let me know and um, I can still add it to the list uh, we have Shades of Love by Desi Valentine and Three Libras by Perfect Circle uh, we have You Found Me by The Fray as well so there are some song cards for you. There could be a Libra connection too. That might be why this one's coming up. Um, I want to get some message cards. But what deck do I want to use? Hmm. All right. Sorry about the pause. <laughs> I see decks in my head, and then I have to figure out where they are in my stack. So this is the deck of being called teams. Let's see. What is this person? What is how what persons want, person you want to say? You are hard to forget. I think about you a lot. <laughs> we have hopeful. This person is hopeful in this connection. I want to talk to you. I want your attention. Also, I hear like someone saying, pick me, pick me. Like, please pick me. <laughs> um, excited. You make this person very excited. Very excited about you. Again, we have this person feels a lot of passion between the two of you. I'm overcoming my fears. So whatever fears this person has, again, a lot, this person may have abandonment wounds or rejection wounds or, again, investing in the things that didn't turn out right kind of thing, but they're overcoming that. Suddenly, all the songs I hear are about you. Again, we talked about that musical connection. So this this love lyrics, it's like every song they hear is like, oh, that's about this person. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys share songs or have shared songs in the past or something like that. Uh, this person could have a playlist <laughs> going for you, that kind of thing. So pile one, I think I'm going to end this here. I hope this gave you some insight to what your person wants you to know, what they want to tell you. As always, don't forget to like, comment, even if it's just an emoji. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can shoot me an email at ajourneyinlight at gmail.com. Um, and I can send you the, the information. The information is in my um, description box as well. So again, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. And I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye, guys.
Hello, 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 my lovely friends from Pile 2. You picked this beautiful spirit quartz. And this card that says, Love Call. It says, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, and informing you. So with the phone here, some of you may be in some sort of long distance relationship or um, a connection that was made online, something like that. That's not all of you, or it doesn't have to be your scenario, but I wanted to give a nod to that. So we are going over what is your person wanting to tell you? What do they want you to know? What do they want to say? Um, that is um, our subject today, and that's what we're looking into. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot of digital communication going on in this connection for sure, uh, or for a lot of you. Always remember these are general readings, so take what resonates with what doesn't. Um, if it doesn't fit for you and your part or your story or makes you confused, just let it go and respect that that part was for somebody else. A lot of people do turn it, tune into these and I do my best to touch in on everything that I get. So, okay. <clears throat> Pile two. Pile two's person. What do they want to say? Okay, pile two. Pile two's person want to say, what do they want them to know? Take those together. We have an Ace of Cups and a Page of Wands. Ace of Swords. The Fool. All right, we have two Aces and a Fool. So there's some sort of either new beginning, uh, stepping into a new um, phase in this connection, is something this person wants to tell you. I'll really dive into this when I get everything on the board and clarify. Or clarified but that's definitely popping up here lots of new beginnings some of you this may be some sort of new connection as well maybe it's a budding romance here <laughs> all right let's clarify this we have the tower okay An eight of cups the eight of wands sorry we have the five of pentacles up here this person want you to know we had the moon the two of wands okay overall energy overall thing this person wants you to know is the six of cups which is that feeling of home it's that soulmate kind of energy it's this feeling of knowing you um possibly some of them want to have children with you uh the six of cups can um represent knowing someone from your past or from your childhood or even possibly a past life connection as well. But I'm really drawn to say that somebody's like wanting to, to have kids with you because sometimes this can represent childhood. Uh, and that's, that's kind of coming in big. So let's go into this. So we start off strong with an Ace of Cups and a Page of Wands, which is an energy of love. It's deep emotional connection. Um, there's a lot of passion or budding romance. Uh, this person also wants you to know that they see you. Um, they also may be checking out lots of aspects of you, trying to get information of you. They may have been looking online. Now, it did get clarified by the tower. Um so below the surface, this person could have fears around love, could have fears around also being seen. Um, so the tower is change. It's needed change, but it can be things crumbling apart. Um, you could have shattered their world <laughs> to tore their world up. Uh, there's a very specific one-off that just popped up. So... If you're dealing with someone that is already like in a connection, um, possibly, you know, has a life with somebody else, like things could be falling apart. That could be something they want you to know um, that you're, you're the, the feelings they have for you, the interest they have for you is kind of making them realize where things are not working in their lives, where things are falling apart, and they may be actually letting them fall apart. Though this person is holding on a little tightly to this house that's falling apart. Um, you could have, you know, really shattered their world per se. They could want you to know that. Um, really shaken things up for them. So we have this Ace of Swords uh, clarified by our card about 
um, which is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is about going after your heart's desire, whatever that may be. We do have this ladybug here, um, which ladybugs are a sign of good luck. So this person could have had some recent realizations around what they really want, what they really desire. Again, it kind of goes in with this information around really shaking up their world. I guess they don't have to have like a, a home and a family already, but um, you kind of just turn this person's world upside down. They want you to know that. Um, they could feel very lucky to have met you, to have known you, to have this new um, new communication. I do love in this picture, so we have um, this kind of sea mollusk kind of vibe here, uh, but this is the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio, so things that kind of start off, but it's it compounds and gets bigger in equal force, and we have this person has a key in their hand and then the key right there, so you've like unlocked this expansion in this person's mind. Um, you may have like really, really shown them what they really truly want in their life. If they've, if they've been like living a mediocre life or a life where they've been settling or, you know, in a, in a situation that they no longer want to be in, you coming into their life could have really like blown the lid off of that per se. Um, so we have the fool and we have an eight of wands. This person definitely wants uh, things to move to the next level. They want to take that leap of faith. They want to take this risk with you and they kind of want it to happen quickly. Uh, Eight of Wands is rapid change energy. It's also communication. So this person really does want to talk to you. They want to express that to you. They want to tell you that they want to have some sort of new beginning. Um, back to that scenario and I'm I might go back to it a couple times because it keeps popping up. Um, if your person, say you met somebody and they were in another relationship, they could also be wanting to tell you that things are falling apart um, or that is no longer like they're moving away from that and they want some sort of new beginning with you. Um, okay. Uh, five of Pentacles being here. So this is abandonment issue, our, uh, energy. Um, it is clarified by the moon and the two of wands. So this person wants you to know that they do have fears around being left out in the cold, a fear of loss, um, a fear of making the wrong choice moving forward. So um, they're kind of trying to figure all that out. Yeah, this person doesn't want to get left out in the cold. So if, if they leave a current situation for you, there is a fear around it not working out, um, a fear around also what people will say, what the world will think of them, what you know everyone in their circle will think. So that person does have fears related to that, and they want you to know that. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords four of swords. Okay. So if there is some sort of separation here for some of you, this person wants you to know it weighs heavy on their heart. They think a lot about this connection. They think a lot about this feeling, the sense of home they have with you. Um, they perhaps are looking at things from another angle with this, this hangman energy, but this person definitely like they have a heavy heart. So we have three of swords and the 10 of wands. So Ten of Wands is responsibility. It's a heaviness. Like even though this is beautiful flowers here, this, this person's being weighed down by this and they're being weighed down like by the sadness that this person feels in their heart and the sadness they feel for this connection if, if for some reason there is some sort of separation for you. Um, okay, let's pull some Oracle cards. What does Pile 2's person want to say? What do they want them to know, please? What does Pile 2 want to say? What do they want to say? Love cords. This person feels very connected to you. Um, they feel like, yeah, they're just so drawn to you. Almost like they may not have a choice. They feel very connected to you on a very deep level. What does this person want to say? Long distance, there's that long distance kind of coming up. Um, this could be physical distance for some of you. If you're in some sort of 
disconnect. This person could be longing because of this distance. Um, France may be important to some of you with this Eiffel Tower kind of energy here. Um, they want you to know they want to bridge the gap in this distance. All right. Higher purpose and up in smoke. This person with this higher purpose card, they could feel a very spiritual connection with you. Again, we have that six of cups energy for that overall feeling. This person feels like there, there's more to this. Like there's a higher purpose for this connection. You guys were like meant to meet each other. There's faded. Now we have this up in smoke and it is coming up over this person's fears. So there, there is this fear around, are you being truthful with them? Are you being honest with them? Some of you guys could be mirroring that energy too, but the way this feels, it's like they, they want to believe that they, you know, they want to believe that this can work out. But again, this is a, this is a fear that this person is afraid to show. The moon is about hidden things. It's about not wanting to be seen. Um, this person is afraid of everything they have built thus far kind of going up in smoke if they make a choice. So yeah, that scenario again is a little different for everybody. Let's see. Pile two. Pile two's person. What do they want to say? Chemistry. This person feels insane chemistry with you. Um, they feel very drawn to you. They're very attracted to you. Um, you. You light them up a bit. Some of you guys, there could be a school connection um, as well. Literally, maybe chemistry. Um, someone maybe, I feel that vibe, someone's like a chemistry teacher or a science teacher or something like that. If you knew each other from the past, maybe you had a class together in school or something. We have communication. Yeah, this person definitely wants to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. They may want to send you a love letter. Uh, they may be more comfortable in written word versus um, telling you. That's why this 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 also written word, you know, nowadays can be like text messages and stuff. So they may be, may be easier for them to be more vocal via text or, or written communication. Some of them may have written you a love letter or some sort of letter. It says, my dear love, I have, I can't read the rest of this. It's kind of meant to be scribbled, but it does say my dear love. Some of you may have sent them a letter. They could be wanting to let you know that they got it and they do want to communicate with you or text or, or email or something like that. <clears throat> what does this person want to say? Daydream. So this person daydreams about you a lot. Um, they think about this connection. Um, they want to, you know, they, they could fantasize. They could think about what life would be like with you if you guys aren't together or what your future could be like. But this person is constantly daydreaming about you, about your chemistry, about what they want to say, about how things would look if things were different. If they do, if you guys do start this new phase, whatever that is. Um, we do have guarded on the bottom of the deck. So with all this, this person still, again, they're guarded because of those fears. Um, so that's something they, I think they want to express, but it's hard for them because they do have a guarded heart. Um, they're trying to protect themselves. Also, some of you guys may be a little guarded, but you know, they're hoping you let the guard down here. All right, let's see. I'll choose person. Okay, pile two. Forgiveness. So there could be some sort of need for forgiveness. They may want to apologize for something. Um, they just may want you to know that they're sorry about something. karmic message. So there's some lessons tied up with this. Um, again, a fadedness to this uh, connection. Um, 
this person could be letting you know that they're dealing with some karma, karma you know, working through some lessons. Uh, this have, may have highlighted some of their own karma that they needed to work on, they needed to heal. You know, some of them could have that abandonment wound um, that they're working through. Also, if there is some sort of disconnect with you guys where, you know, they did something to you and then this, a similar thing happened to them, it could be they want you to, like, they, they realize how, like, they're, they realize how bad they treated you for some of you uh, because karma kind of came in and showed them <laughs> the way. Fears. Yeah, this person's definitely riddled with fears about things. We have karma again. Um, so that could be their lesson that they're learning currently is to confront their fears, to stand up to their fears, to be seen in, in their own authenticity. So this person is definitely working through some karma, working through some lessons. Karma isn't per se bad. Karma is balance. It's here to teach us things. It's, it's the lessons and contracts we signed up uh, to learn. Um, but uh This person, yeah, that it, 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 there's fears <laughs> written all over for this person. Then we have message of love, and we have this love call again. This person wants to tell you how they feel. They want to communicate that they're thinking about you. They want to express their love for you. Um, they could be afraid of, to do that. Um, this person also could have some fear of rejection here as well. Um, so there could be fears about, you know, and that could be the lesson is getting over this fear of rejection and actually being being honest and open about their feelings and being able to express that. Okay, let's get some song cards. Um, if you have any suggestions, I did get more of these cards, so I can now add more songs to um, our, our big chunk of pile here. So if you've told me um, your song suggestions in the past and you've never seen it come up, feel free to drop them again in the comment section and I will add them now that I have more cards. I was always meaning to go back and look through them and I just haven't had a chance. So um, well, there was one already flipped. So we have I Wish You Were Here by Florence and the Machine. I'll take that. So if you're new here with the songs, there'll, there'll be a message for you within the lyrics. If you know the songs, awesome. If you don't and you feel compelled, pick at least one of the songs. There'll be a message within the lyrics for you. With this Florence and Machine, I know there's a lot of different songs by different artists with the same title. So also if you see that and a different song relates to your situation, take that song. Okay, so we have Wish You Were Here by Florence and the Machine. And I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach. It is just going. I just ate right before I did this. So it's digestion, I guess. It has a lot to say. All right. We have Collide by Howie Day. All right. Pile two songs. By Your Side by Sade. I feel like that one's been coming out a lot in readings. And then we have Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars. So Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol on the bottom of the deck. I feel like that was for somebody. A nod. All right, so those are your song cards. Again, um, if you feel compelled, look up the lyrics. There'll be a message for you there. Um, but let's get some, a little bit, I feel like pulling a little more of these. These were our opening cards, but what else does this person want to say? What do they want pile two to know? And then I'll do some message cards for you guys. Love. Wow. Love call. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love, wholeness, affection, attraction, selflessness. This person is very attracted to you. They have a lot of love for you. It's coming in unconditional. Like they can't help but to love you. Again, they feel very connected to you on a very deep level that almost pains their heart if you guys aren't together. Um, but yeah. But again, this kind of goes back into this person's a little bit of afraid for you to see that. Again, they have this guarded heart. Um, trust is right under here. So this person also may have a hard time trusting. We have guarded, trust, and then caution. So this person could have some trust issues uh, that you just need to be aware of that kind of keeps them or halts them back. But there's definitely, <laughs> definitely a lot of feels here, uh, pile two. Key on a ring, many options, unconventional one night stand string along. So this, for some of you, this could have started off as a one night stand. 
Um, maybe they weren't expecting um, something to come from this. Uh, they could also feel like you have lots of options. Sorry, we lost a candle, so relighting this. People always ask about these candle holders. These are from World Market. You can actually order them online if you don't have a World Market close to you. Love them. They're the, um, oh, now I can't think of the name of the shell that these are made out of, Source of the Sea, but they're the Lotus, Lotus candle holders. Okay. Um, but, uh, there's also like having this key to my heart, key on a ring, like you're the key to this person's either enlightenment or undoing. So, all right, one more from this deck and then we'll move to message cards because I messed up my whole, it was worth it, it was worth it, okay. <laughs> Get a little particular sometimes, but I've let that go over the years. Poker face, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing a hand, gambling. It's kind of, I didn't really dive into this card much. I kind of, I love this full card and I love this full card for what this kind of represents, especially with this. It's taking a risk. So here's this person wanting to embark on this new green, you know, green's the color of the, the heart chakra. So this new loving connection. But there, there, there could be those fears that they're going to get eaten up by this, by there's danger down here. We have an alligator or a crocodile. Can't, I think that's an alligator. Um, has a, no, that's crocodiles have a thinner um, nose. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to go with alligator. I'm from Florida. They're everywhere. Um, but uh, um, this person, like, they're willing to take this risk, but they could be keeping their hands, you know, that their hand close to their chest with this poker face because again they're they're afraid of getting hurt <sighs> like in this person's energy it's like if they almost want you 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 to go first <laughs> you know like you to put yourself out there but i'm gonna say don't do that because i think this is that karma this person's dealing with like their their lesson is to show up for the things that they want to go after their heart's desire we have that eight of cups they need to go after their heart's desire let them come to you you know especially if you've already put yourself out there with this person let them come to you let them call you up all right let's get some message cards fill in some hidden truth oracle these are by Darn it, I forget. Um, these are by All Things Intuitive. You can find these on Amazon. I think they have an Etsy shop too, but I think they sell these on Amazon. I have the newest edition for these that came out, so they, they never even got printed, but that's the Hidden Truth Oracle. If anyone's interested. Okay. Pile two. What does this person want to say? What do they want them to know? If you're interested in a personal reading, you can shoot me an email at a journey in light at gmail.com and I can send you back an email with all the info for booking. All right, let's see. Will you ever make things right? There's that vibe of this person wanting you to do something about this. Again, this person's nervous. This, they have a big fear of rejection. Maybe that's something you don't realize and they kind of want you to know in this. I have saved your text messages, our texts and messages. This person may scroll their phone a lot. They may look through old pictures. It's like they're constantly like reliving this. I know I crossed the line with you. Okay, they feel like something they, they shouldn't have done. I can't be with you. Okay. Some of them feel like there's some situation that's holding them back from being with you. Could be their fears, could be a situation. But I am becoming a better person. I hide behind material things. We did have that, we had a spiritual connection kind of vibe here, right? Someone here, yeah, higher purpose. So this person, this connection could be forcing them to get out of like the 3D world and more into a spiritual world, but they, they could be having some resistance to that. I look for you everywhere. So this person, maybe if they go frequent places that you guys have been to before or where they think you would, they're always kind of on the lookout for you. I am recovering and I want to make amends. 
this person is dealing with their issues, whatever they were. Some of them could have some sort of addictions, but they want to make amends. Again, we had this forgiveness card. Like, I want, I want your forgiveness. I want to say I'm sorry. I want to fix things. Um, and then we have I love you, which, again, we open this reading with that Ace of Cups. That is my I love you card. Um, so if those words have never been spoken, they could want to tell you that. That is my last card I was going to pick. Um, though on the bottom it says, I replay our conversations over and over. That's that same, like, looking through the text messages, looking through the things, thinking about what was said, all those things. It's almost like your, your voice haunts them in their head. So they take a lot of things you've ever told them very seriously. So pile two, I think I'm going to end this here. Um, don't forget to like, comment, even if it's just an emoji. Uh, again, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can uh, find the information in the description box or you can just shoot me an email at ajourneyinlight at gmail.com. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. And um, as always, have a wonderful one. Bye, guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile three. You guys pick this card, Seduction, and this uh, fluorite crystal here. So we are going over what your person wants you to know. What do they want to tell you? Uh, with you being drawn to this card, there's definitely a lot of attraction. Um, some of you guys, it could be in an early stage of a relationship with this hooking up and dating or possibly a third party. Um, definitely a lot of attraction <laughs> with this pile. Again, if you were drawn to this one with seduction, so they could feel very seduced by you. They could have a heavy amount of attraction. There's a lot of temptation here. There's a lot of just, uh, yeah, sexual chemistry, possibly sexual tension is coming up as well. So um, let's see though. We'll pull the tarot cards. Pile three's person. What do they want to say? What does Pile Three's person want to say? Pile Three's person, what do they want to say? You start off strong with the lover's card. So there's definitely a feeling of uh, that soulmate kind of energy. We have Gemini represented here. Um, they want to tell you the truth. We have this blue bird here. Blue is the color of the throat chakra. Um, woo! Too many there. What does this person want to say? Queen of Wands, yeah. Not surprising that the Queen of Wands shows up here with this seduction card. This is immense attraction. This is a draw. This is like that moth to a flame kind of vibe here. We have a Six of Pentacles. So, you know, an even give and take. A, they feel very balanced in this connection with you. They feel like... Again, like I keep hearing even match um, the chariot. So uh, cancer energy popping up. I'm going to finish. I'm going to clarify all these before we really jump into this, though. Let's see. We have two of pentacles. We have an eight of cups. And the high priestess. Nope, we have two. We have the King of Swords and a Four of Swords. Overall energy. With all this seduction, with all this attraction, we have the Queen of Cups. So there's there's a lot of feelings that this person has for you that they want you to know about. They also feel very nurtured by you. They feel um, they feel very successful around you with the Six of Wands right under here. Um this hummingbird is reminding me of like, like flutterings of the heart. Like you almost give this person heart palpitations. Uh, if this did start off as some sort of, you know, uh, just hook up or casual thing, uh, this person could want you to know that they're, they're starting to have really, really deep feelings for you. Um, like their intuitions telling them certain things. They could want to move forward with this. They want to, could, they've been thinking a lot about how to communicate some clarity, express to you how they see you, how they view you. Um, yeah, this feels like this is a connection that, again, may have started off just like kind of playful, you know, weren't expecting much out of it. Uh, and here they are getting some really, really deep feelings. And again, like flutters in the heart. Um, 
you know, they, they may be afraid to tell you that with this Seven of Swords energy. They may be concealing their feelings at this time, or they may have been concealing their feelings the whole time. For some of you, like, if you knew this person for a while before something happened, I feel like this person had a crush on you for a very long time. Uh, there's this feeling of, like, I have wanted this to happen for forever, and I'm so excited that you seem to like me back, and here we are kind of making this work, seeing if we're compatible, seeing how our lives will fit together. Yeah. Okay. Pile three. All right. Lovers clarified by pentacles. I've already touched on a lot of this, but I want to dive in a little bit more. Again, Gemini energy. The lovers is about choices. And here we have someone trying to make a decision. So this person, I think they want you to know that they've made a decision. Like they've decided on, they, they're, they're deciding to follow their heart. Uh, they're deciding to see where it leads them, even if they're a little nervous about it. Anyone who's seen, okay, the scene from E Pray Love is popping in my head. You know when she picks picks a word and I can't, atroversiamo or something like that, which is let's cross over. Um, like that's where this person is. It's like, let's take this to the next level. Let's move this forward. Let's, let's see where this goes. You know, this person is extremely attracted to you. They feel very lucky to have you in their presence. You are this person's heart's desire with this eight of cups here. Eight of cups can be about leaving, but this is technically going after the heart's desire. We have a ladybug on here. We have, we have, a set of dragonflies, we have a set of swans, we have a set of birds, and we have this uh, set of butterflies. And here's the moon. This person, the moon represents our emotions. This person is following their heart. They're following their emotions. We have the high priestess here. That's also about our intuition or our connection that we feel to that. This person feels very lucky that a path is opened up for them to follow their heart. Um, and that, you know, maybe you've even opened up to considering them. Again, for a lot of you, this feels like a long time coming, a heavy crush uh, that they wanted to express. Um, I'm really loving this Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles is an even give and take. Um, I do love that there are cups represented in this one because Pentacles is usually our earth energy. Oops, sorry. I'm like holding this where you guys can't see it. Um, I just moved my camera around recently, so I'm trying a new angle or slightly different vantage point. <laughs> but in the Six of Pentacles, we have two cups, and this is someone filling the other person's cup. So they could want you to know that you fill their cup. They feel you on a very deep emotional level. With this High Priestess, even though she's kind of concealing things, our High Priestess is kind of here when you're not supposed to know it all, you know, not supposed to peek behind the curtain per se. But here, just behind the curtain, this person is riding the waves of their emotions. Like they're ready to come out from, from hiding, express how they feel, express how they always feel, and kind of come in and fill your cup. If you're the type of person that you've given and given and given, you know, this person wants to come back and reciprocate that energy to you. But they definitely want to move forward with this. With the chariot being here, some of you guys could be in a long distance relationship or something like that, that there's a distance, uh, not all of you. But this person is definitely contemplating how to tell you that they want to move forward with this connection. Um, chariot, again, is the Cancer card in tarot. Um, Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon is our emotions. So this person is wanting to move forward with their emotions. They want to, you know, again, move forward with clarity and honesty here. I think of all the swords, you know, the king of swords, he's holding the sword of truth here, um, wanting to express that to you. And it's more than just seduction for this person. So again, if you thought it started off that way, or if it did start off this way, it has moved to the next level here. Okay, let's see. Let me shuffle these. Pile three's person. <clears throat> Pile three. Wings of love, guidance and protection. So this person could feel very divinely guided towards you. Again, very intuitively connected to you like this is meant to be. Um, we have the wings of love. So the angels, you know, there could be, yeah, it's like a sense of fadedness to this connection. They could see you a bit as an angel <laughs> per se. Um, also their, their, their heart could have like wings, um, 
We do have secret admirer on the bottom again. For some of you guys, this person again has had a crush for a long time. But back to this one, um, they could see you as a bit of again. I get I'm getting this flutteringness, like you you give them like heart palpitations, not in a bad way, and I like a oh, you know, kind of this person feels just very smitten by you. Um, but you feel a little out of this world. So we have masculine energy. So masculine energy is uh, energy of doing. So this person does want to step into this masculine energy. They want to do something about this. They want this to move forward. Um, we have delight and desire. So you delight them as much as they desire. You know, you just how desirable you are to them. Ooh. Drop some cards on the floor. Then we also have love and lace innocence. So they appreciate the innocence you have, even though, again, we started off as a seduction card. I think that this person wants more than just that. They don't want just a hookup. They don't want this to just be that. They want this like innocent, but they also feel like they have their heart on the line. Secret admirer again, even though I shuffle this back on the bottom of the deck. Um, it's crazy when that happens. Um, they do feel like they have to do something about this. The way this is coming in, it's like, I can't not do anything about this anymore. I have to follow my heart. I have to see where this is going. Um, okay, let's move on to our next deck here. What else does Pile Three's person want to say? What do they want to tell them? What do they want to say? What do they want them to know? We have passion. This person feels a lot of passion for you. It also came out with codependency. So this person could have some tendencies towards codependency. Um, or they could just feel very connected to you. Um, they could be very connected to this passion they feel for you. But again, I feel like this person wants you to know it's more than just that. They feel, you know, not only passionate, but very connected to you. Rejection. This person could have some fears about being rejected in this connection. I really don't get the vibe that there has been rejections in this connection for a lot of you guys, but maybe that's a one-off. Maybe there was rejection either way. I'm not sure because the rest of this is not reading as that, but this person could just have some fears around rejection because they really want this to happen. But maybe they're worried that you only see them as a hookup or that's not what you want. But they want to open up to you. They want to, they also want you to open up to them. They want to have an open communication. It, again, if this has just been a relationship that has been, you know, a little more surface level or something like that, they this person wants to go deeper here. They want to express themselves. They want to, you know, not just that kind of stuff, but on, the, on a deep, deep level. Um, they do like having fun with you that card in the bottom. Let's pull one more from this deck. Guarded. So one of you guys could be guarded. They could still have guarded, even though they, they want, you know, they want to open up. They, if, if they've been guarded in the past, you know, they're opening up their guarded heart. They also could want you. It's almost like knock, knock, knock. Can you open up your guarded heart? They could want to know what you really think. They want to know if you have feelings for them back. That could be what's making them really nervous is to tell you all this if they're nervous, if you don't, you know, if you don't have those same feelings. Like they feel like a lot is on the line here with that heart on the line. We have family. So some of you guys could have some sort of family connection with this person or children or something like that. Um, and then romance right under here. Now this person has a lot of romantic feeling. They also like, I think this person has a very romantic side to them and they want to show that to you as well. All right, let's pull some more cards. What is pile? three want to say so ascension learning expanding transcending preparing for union new phase so this person does want to go up to the next level with you some of them could want to take you on a hot air balloon ride <laughs> maybe there's been some sort of conversations about hot air balloons um, but they definitely want to take this to the next level 
you know, and I, I didn't point this out, but this is a wedding cake in this picture. So some of them could, that could be the next level they want to go to. They want, they could want to, you know, have a more committed relationship with you. But they, they're not just, to, you know, again, I feel like this keeps coming up for me to say. So I hope this point is coming home is like, I don't just want a physical relationship with you. I really want this deep rooted, like Queen of Cups is, is emotional. It's uh, nurturing. It's caring. You know, I, I don't want just this fire. I want this love as well. Woo. Camera, reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past perception. So camera, there could be a photography connection here. Um, but this person you know, wants to make memories. They're learning from their past and their perception, you know, looking at things, but I feel like that they want to go, you know, make memories with you. They want to capture this. Uh, some of them with the camera here could be looking at your social media. Um, sorry, that was, that was pile two. I was thinking there was something with a uh, magnifying glass, but that was pal too. Uh, but yeah, like there could be this looking at your, your social media, looking at pictures of you, kind of going back through that, looking through that a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Engagement ring. Higher commitment, partnership and union. Yeah, this person wants to put a ring on it <laughs> per se or lock this down. It did come up with heartbroken. So this person could be a little afraid getting their heart broken if they really tell you how they feel. And, you know, I'm not saying everyone's person's going to be like, hey, will you marry me? But this could be, you know, this is anytime we get the rings and these types of things, it's, a, it's I want to take this to a higher commitment. I want to take this to the next level. But there is a fear around being heartbroken. One off, some of you guys, this, they, if you guys aren't together and you're watching this about somebody, maybe they wanted to ask you and then this all went to, uh, and they're really upset about like, an engagement or this commitment not working out. Again, one off on that. So if it fits for you, take it. <laughs> all right, let's see. Pile three. Goodness. I love when I drop cards. All right, so we have source and guidance, our uh, message of guidance. Kind of with this wings of love. So this person, again, feels like this is like a faded kind of connection. Um, you also could be the source of their happiness. Um, message of guidance. And source, I think it's source in the universe and God and all that stuff. So with these coming out together, this person definitely feels just divinely guided about you. Maybe they had some sort of dream. Um, they've gotten some sort of message about this connection. Maybe their intuition is telling them, you know, this is this is really an important relationship and not to let this go. All right, let's see. Let's see what this guy is. Repression. So they could be repressing some of this like because they have a fear of getting heartbroken or a fear of you not taking the offer. So there could be some sort of repression um, going on or a need to hold back. You, and this person's thinking heavily about you. Um, you're constantly on their mind. We have regrets. So for some of you, there could, again, with that scenario there could be some sort of regrets around this if this connection was going elsewhere and then it didn't there's still so much feeling that this person has for you and there could be some regrets tied up in that so let's get some song cards i did get more um little white cards for these so if in the past you gave me suggestions for a song you wanted to hear and you haven't seen it come up Feel free to drop that in the comments section because um, I've gotten more and I can add to this now. I meant to go back, uh, but now it's been a while. <laughs> and so feel free to drop your song again. Or if you have a new suggestion for a song that you want me to add to the song list, feel free to do that in the comments. If you're new here, these songs, there'll be a message for you in the lyrics. So um, I pull a couple. If you feel drawn to one of them, pick the song, either listen to it or look up the lyrics. There'll be a message for you. Use your intuition on this one, guys, on which one's for you. And some of them, these songs relate to you and your situation. 
So we have familiar feeling by Cat the Dreamer. We have a possession by Sarah McLaughlin. Dig by Incubus. And Craving You by Thomas Rhett. I think that's a country song. I don't know. We also have Somewhere Only We Know by Keen on the bottom. So I'll put that there. So those are your song. If you feel drawn to picking one of those, um, feel free. If not, no big deal. Let's get some message cards. I'm going to pull these. Pile three's person. What do they want to say? What do they want them to know? Your words speak to me like no others can. So the things you say to them really stick with this person like a lot. Ooh. Our eye contact is insane. There's that intense attraction. I've been having weird dreams about you. So you've been showing up in their dreams, haunting them a bit. <laughs> I remember everything you said. We did have that card about reminiscing and replaying and thinking. So they're they're thinking a lot about your conversations. I regret how I handled things before. So those of you guys that had this regret kind of energy, here it is again popping up there. Excited. This person is very excited about you. Even though they don't just want this just to be a physical attraction, there's definitely a lot of physical attraction. Indecisive. So they could go a little bit back and forth. Again, if they do have indecisive tendencies, it's because they are have a lot of fear wrapped up in, in this. You know, and it, it's sad when we allow our fears to dictate our lives or unconscious patterns, you know. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have a job if everyone, you know, worked through those, but here we are. Um, but the reason I talk about a lot of that stuff because I want you guys to realize that a lot of the times it's what other people are dealing with. It's not necessarily you. So um, understanding that, you know, it's, it's, it's a them, not you situation. Um, anywho. Okay, you are hard to forget. So this person definitely is constantly thinking about you. I feel like you trickle in their brain even when they're trying to do other things and work or you know live their little life. It's like you're, you're constantly on the edge of their mind. And I can't walk away. So if some of you guys, if there has been a disconnect, they definitely feel like they, they, they can't walk away. We have, I don't want to miss my chance with you. So it's like that heart's on the line. Again, this feels very important and very imperative to this person that they do something about this at this time. Um, even if they have fears around it, I think that they're willing to work through those. So guys, I think I'm going to end this here. Uh, if you're interested in, uh, well, don't forget to like or subscribe or comment, even if it's just an emoji that does help me out or share this with a uh, share this reading with someone that you think would enjoy this type of reading. Um, I do personal readings. If you're interested in a more personal look, uh, just send me an email at a journey in light at gmail.com. Um, I will be doing my post reading chit chat. Not sure what I'm going to talk about yet. I never really do until blah, um, right after this. So if you, for some reason, want to stick around and hear me chat about nonsense, feel free to stick around. Uh, <laughs> as always, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye guys. Okay, let's clean up. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Let's see. I think I asked in another reading if there's anything that you story you guys want to hear about. I don't know if anyone wants to hear my story. I don't know. If there's anything particular that you guys want me to talk about in these, feel free to drop a suggestion for what you want to hear. I need to bring all my, all my cards out. Um, anyways, I hope everybody's doing well. The day I'm recording this is my anniversary. 
with my amazing boyfriend. So yay for that. Um, we gotta keep working, right? <laughs> Regardless of what, what day it is. Um, let's see. I don't even know. Oh, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm tired today. It's cold here in Florida today. It's very cold for us, I'm sure, in other parts of the world. If I were to tell you the temp, you'd be like, <laughs> that's not cold. But it's cold for us. So having a chilly day here in Florida. i to turn on the heat. Take the chill out of the house. But to me, I can't ever let my house get too, well, it's fine when my daughter's not here. But my daughter, I know I always, I, I feel like I always end up talking about my daughter in these after in these after uh, after reading chats, my daughter, part of her disorder, she cannot regulate her body temperature. So I have to be mindful of her getting too hot. So in Florida, that's very hard, especially over the summer. I cannot really have her outside because she cannot sweat. So she'll just, you know, overheat. And then she can't talk, so she can't tell me. So it's, it's, it's a big mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to be mindful. Like she, and she's got like, almost no body fat she's so thin um it has to do with her disorder so um but uh yes yeah, so I can't ever let it get too cold in here our poor little thing will just freeze to death um but uh gosh I just chat nonsense but you guys have been so nice about it you guys I like hearing it so I guess if you're here you like the nonsense um for our tarot deck today I love this deck um, this was donated to the channel by a dear friend of mine. Um, this is the Tarot of the Mystical Moments. Mystical Moments? Magical Moments? Now I can't find my box. Did I put it back in my... I don't even know. Anyways, um, this was donated by Holly over from Crystal Rose Tarot. She's amazing. She donated that deck to the channel. If you've never watched her, it's like... She has the cutest little southern accent I ever did hear. Um, she is great. She does really in-depth long readings. So if you want like an in-depth, I mean, I feel like I get in-depth, but maybe it's, I, mean, I don't have full-blown ADHD, but I just can't go longer than like 20 minutes. And I know there's readers that do like hour-long piles. I can't do it. Um, I feel like I just run out of things to talk about. Uh I guess I'm just straight to the point <laughs> moving on, but teach their own. But anyway, so she does like really, really, really in-depth reading. So if you're looking for that or a longer reading, definitely check out Crystal Rose Tarot. Give her some love. Um, she's such a talented, gifted reader. She's actually someone that I personally, like I don't get tarot readings too often, but um, if I feel the need to get a reading, I go to her a lot. Um, I, I trust her whole, wholeheartedly, very pure soul, and very, very gifted. So if you have not checked out Crystal Rose Tarot, go over there. Give her give her a watch. Tell her I sent you. And uh, she's great. And listen to her cute little accent. I love it. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. I don't have my boxes. I'm looking around, and I'm like, I, I must have left them in my, um, I have a big cabinet for all my tarot cards. Um, I must have left it in there. Maybe one day I'll do like a behind the scenes. I know I talked about doing like a tarot deck reviews. Maybe I should start a whole series where I just like open up the, the case, show you guys and then grab one and talk about a deck. I don't know. Would anybody want to see that? I, I know I've mentioned that in a, in a community post before about doing like tarot deck reading or tarot deck reviews or just going over some of my favorites and chatting because I do that uh, obviously uh, if you guys would want to see that let me know that as well so all right I'm just going to end this here I'm not going to get up and get the boxes but uh I hope all is well and thank you guys for listening and if there's ever anything you guys want me to chat about okay when you when you're responding to these if you're still here if you're responding to my after after reading chat uh put a star and then put your comment just so I'll know that that's what it's referring to you're responding to something I asked for here um fun fact I don't typically remember my readings um especially like when I'm in it in it um 
I don't remember most of the things I say. As soon as I'm done, it's like remembering a dream. I remember for a little bit and then I'll remember bits and pieces. But most of the time I'm like, I have no idea what that person's talking about, but awesome. Uh, and if I go back and watch my readings, it's like watching somebody else. It's the most bizarre thing. It took me a long time to, to get a grasp on that. Um, I didn't like it at first, um, or I was like, oh my gosh, do I have dementia or something? But it's just because I'm reading energy and energy shifts and changes and it, I can't be biased. So I don't carry usually old energy into new readings, even personal readings. Like I will not remember at all, but, um, but again, it's always fresh because I'm always tapping into new energy. Now in the middle of reading, sometimes I'll, if the energy signature is the same, all of a sudden like an old reading will all pop up in my head. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But um, if I'm reading comments, I'm like, well, I have no idea. So anyways, um, but yeah, so if you're responding to this, uh, in the comments, just make sure you put like a star or something like that. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. Have a good one. Bye.